Hi, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. And uh, here at the cheap 3D printer house, we are uh, musical people. My wife primarily is uh, the most musical person, I would say. Uh, she is or has been a music teacher for the last couple years. She's been playing guitar for uh, 20 plus years. She's the worship leader at our church and uh, she plays guitar, she plays a little bit of piano. Um, she also likes other stringed instruments. She has a mandolin. Uh, she already has a ukulele, but decided uh, that I would print her a 3D printed uh, ukulele. So that's what we have today. We're gonna assemble a 3D printed ukulele. So we have uh, the body. This body was printed in 3D racks, uh, translucent purple uh, PLA. Um, had some problems with this, and I've, I've seen on uh, Amazon after I ordered it and after I used it that uh, this stuff strings like a like a madman. I mean, it just it strings really bad. Um, so I had a lot of globs, a lot of stuff that I had to clean up. It still doesn't look great, um, but it is going to work. Um, I had some layer adhesion issues with it um, when I first was printing with it. it took me four or five tries, kept bumping up the temperature to try to get the layer adhesion better. Um, and uh, I think I ended up at 220 degrees and their filament says 180 to 220. So I was at the very top range of their filament uh, for what they said uh, to print it at. So I uh, printed it at 220. I did finally get a good print, but there was a lot of globs and blobs all over it that I had to clean up that I haven't really had with other filaments in that printer. So, um, so anyway, had some issues with that, but it, I mean, it, it looks nice. Uh, there's just some rough roughness, uh, to parts of it. Um, and it's, uh, it's a pretty purple, which my wife, uh, will love. I'll show it up close here. You can see the translucentness shows the uh, kind of support pieces uh, that are supporting the body um, in there and up in here uh, the same thing uh, you can see them back here because it's a translucent purple um, but uh, so that's the body of it the uh, the neck I printed in Maker Geeks uh, dark as night or black as midnight or blackity black black i don't remember what the name of it is but it's black uh their black uh pla um it printed pretty well i printed both of these on the trunk x 5s and um because i needed the height and i've been having some uh, issues really probably with over extrusion um i bumped this all the way down to 220 five degrees um maker geek says to print at 235 for their filaments but i did bump it down to 225 um to try and take care of some of that and then also bump the um the flow down to 95 percent so um it's decent it's not perfect but it's decent and uh so there's the neck and then in order to complete this project you have to order ukulele strings, which I ordered these from Amazon, um, Aguila, Aquila, something, lava strings, so that's their strings there, and then also you got to order tuners, and so I ordered a, a pack of tuners uh, for this, so I think the tuners were eight or nine dollars, and the strings were uh, about eight or nine dollars also, so you're about, you know, twenty dollars in parts and then the filament uh, for the ukulele. So let's uh, let's get to assembling this. It shouldn't actually take that long. It's actually quite easy. Um, I've already done all the cleanup um, in this um, to clean these this groove out real good. Um, I also, this has small holes here for the strings. I tried to fit the strings in there. The strings weren't going to fit, so I drilled those out with the smallest drill bit that I could possibly find in my mess of a tools of tools so I did drill those out um, already so the assembly is really easy we're just going to take this and it's going to slide down into there like that 
Very simply done. The uh, the Thingiverse files for this say you don't have to use any glue, so I'm not going to use any glue. If I start to see this slipping, uh, if I start to see this slipping, then I will take it apart. I will drop some super glue or some epoxy in there, and uh, take care of that. But I'm going to try to assemble it without that because uh, I may end up printing this body in a different filament. Um, and get a new body, one that doesn't have the roughness to it. Um, we'll see. So, that's that. Um, so now we're going to put the tuners on. And they uh, they go on real simply. Uh, they slide in here. You do want to make sure that you... Um, they have two different orientations for them. You can see that they are mirror images of each other. If you look... On the back side, see their mirror images. So you do want to make sure that you uh, put them into where, don't start screwing one in until you know they're all going to fit where you want them. Um, uh, put this one over here. And this one over here. I did pre-fit these earlier to make sure that uh, they were going to fit where I wanted to put them. And uh, so that is fitment of those. Now in order to make these stay, comes with this little pack of, two of uh, stuff here, hoping that I don't have to drill any holes and that these screws will just go right on in. Comes with these little screws here uh, and they go into the holes here. So put that in there. Line that tuner up the way I want it. We're going to press like crazy and see if we can get that to go in that PLA. Get the rest of these out for the time being. Okay, we're going to take a break. I'm going to get these screws in. I'm going to use a little drill bit to get them started. And uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I'm back. And... Uh, I looked around my shop, garage, whatever you want to call it, mess um, is probably more appropriate. Could not find a tiny enough drill bit. And instead of going to the hardware store to buy an itty bitty tiny tiny little drill bit, what I did was I took a little brad nail, used my torch. Uh, you could have done this with a lighter, um, but I had my torch handy. So uh, used my torch, heated up the, the tip of it, and just touched it onto the plastic uh, so that it would start. So all four of the tuners are now installed on that side. And it comes with these uh, nuts on this end to put on. So I believe you're supposed to put the washer on. And these might be a tight fit. So we'll put all these washers on. I'll use my screwdriver just to seat them a little bit. And. Uh, these nuts go on here and they tighten down on there as such. This is a surprise to my wife. Not the right tool. All right, so now we have an assembled ukulele. Um, try to get it in this camera. An assembled ukulele minus the strings. So I bought these strings on Amazon. These are nylon strings. Um, they are. 
I didn't. I think they have some metal strings, but I chose nylon. I think nylon's the authentic ukulele strings, um, and it tells you on the back what order. Um, in case you don't know, um, first string is always on the bottom. Fourth string is to the top, so you're going to be moving up the uh, the ukulele. I've got a little bit of trimming I want to do right here. All right, so it says one is red, so we'll grab the red one. Uh, that needs to go through. Just did that the wrong direction. Okay, so your loop needs to be on the back side, just so you know, or on the bottom of the ukulele. I don't know what you want to call that position. Alright, there we have an assembled ukulele. I'm going to trim these strings off. I love side cutters, flush cutters, whatever they want to call them. Um, they should help with this tremendously. And we should be able to tune this thing up. sounds terrible because it's not tuned. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to come back and have this tuned and uh, then we will um, finish this video off uh, maybe with a little song. We'll see. Okay so we're back from tuning uh, the ukulele and these strings stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and so you have to tune it and then you have to tune it again and then you have to tune it some more. And then you play it, and then you tune it some more, and then you tune and tune and tune. So anyway, you got to tune it a lot to get it in tune. And actually, probably just sitting here right now, it's probably getting out of tune. Uh, but I brought my wife here um, because she, I made this for her, and I just gave it to her a moment ago. And uh, she's going to play it for us in just a moment. But uh, a year ago, I bought her this ukulele, which is a Gretsch uh, concert ukulele. And I just wanted to show you, we're going to play both of them and hopefully hear the difference in tone and volume, uh, but I wanted to show you the difference. This is a concert ukulele. Concert ukuleles are naturally a little bit bigger, um, but I uh, wanted to show you the difference um, in the two. So the, this is uh, the Gretsch, of course, and the one from uh, that we printed from Thingiverse. And so now we're going to play them, and she's going to play the Someone to Lava song. Uh, from, I don't remember what movie it was. It's a it short. It's, it's a short, but what short. was it at the beginning of what movie? I can't remember. I can't remember. But anyway, it was the beginning of one of the Pixar movies, I think. And um, so, she's going to play the, uh, the uke. All right. stretches all right and this is the concert ukulele from Gretsch So 
those are the two uh, ukuleles, the uh, 3D printed one. Um, go to Thingiverse, print this off. The body takes about, uh, I think it was 20 hours. The neck took another uh, 16, I think. Um, these are five walls, 20% um, infill. And uh, yeah, it turned out really well. I think the sound is, is pretty good for a 3D printed uh, ukulele. And I uh, hope you have fun with it. So that's what we got for the ukulele. Um, if you like what we're doing, click subscribe below. Click the like button. And uh, just want to tell you to keep printing. Keep printing cheap. And lead us out with a little more Someone to Lava. Mm -hmm.